Welcome to Progress Daily Academy. This is lesson two. In our last video, we covered buying a skateboard the cheapest, easiest, and quickest way. And today, we are going to go over the first seven days of your skateboard journey and how to optimize it and make it the best possible first week of skateboarding possible. To make it simple, I'll give you four things that you should be concerned about and four things you shouldn't be concerned about. The first thing to focus on is spending as much time on your skateboard as humanly possible. This right here is what a lot of people skip. They want to go straight to the kickflip, straight to the nollie heel, straight to the nollie flip. They try to learn all these tricks that make no sense, but the person who spends the most time on the board will be the one who becomes the best, the fastest. So by the time you're trying kickflips, you're going to have a much easier time than someone who goes straight forward. Them. I know you can't resist trying a couple ollies right off the bat and that's okay I'm not gonna tell you not to do that I'm just saying that practicing a few ollies here and there and practicing riding in general going around your neighborhood pushing down the street conquering sidewalks figuring out how to cruise the right way is the best lesson for anyone who's starting off more time on the board the easier skateboarding will become number two is find as much inspiration as humanly possible soak up everything this is a very exciting time and when i first started i could not stop watching every single skate video that popped up online so just do that and find the skaters that inspire you not just in terms of the tricks that they do but their style and clothing the way they push the way they make their own videos on instagram etc there are so many skateboarders who do so many unique things so just soak in everything and it's absolutely okay to copy and replicate what you want of the skate skateboarder because you're a new skateboarder nobody's gonna be able to recognize that you're trying to copy p rods switchback tails because you're just learning how to ride you're just learning how to push so you can absolutely just look at these people and say one day i want to be able to push look skate like this so create that list of inspiration but the don't don't hate even if you find the people that you like and you find the skateboarders that seem way better than the other skateboarders it's not really for you to say who's good and who's bad especially it's just upsetting to say that to people who don't really deserve it so don't be uh, a, basically a critic or a hater right at the beginning before you can even do anything on a skateboard number three is track your progress a lot more people are doing this i see people with cameras at skate parks all the time now so it's really cool that skateboarding has have this self film renaissance but it's a good way to make sure that you're doing the tricks correctly so make sure that your feet are in the right place your arms are moving the right way you're bending enough or bending too much these are things that you can track and you can compare yourself to other skateboarders and kind of be like well he doesn't bend that much or do this that much huh but the don't don't focus too much on your style yet it's okay to try to replicate obviously but when you're watching the footage just try to critique what you're doing wrong in terms of actually implementing the trick your style will come more naturally as you gain more skill and sometimes that sketchy style at the beginning your own unique style will kind of develop into something that could be very cool happens a lot in skateboarding sketchy styles become amazingly beautiful organic styles and number four is just have fun no, I'm just kidding. Well, kind of, actually. Don't focus too much on the tricks and order you should be learning them in. A lot of people will be like, I wanna learn how to ollie, then pop shove it, then kickflip. If that's fun for you, and if that excites you, obviously get straight into it. But there are thousands of tricks, and sometimes people will literally just go through the list, which I kinda did. I swear I went through the first thousand tricks that made sense. Instead of just going to the skate park and experimenting, going around the neighborhood and experimenting, I think at first, if you get those first and you're a little overwhelmed and you're not having as much fun, that's when you should just pretty much go to a skate park and learn how to skate other things. It's just as easy learning how to skate transition at the beginning as it is streets. So you have this whole other thing that now you're comfortable in your skateboard and you can learn that much faster. Oh, what about these ramps? You go to a big skate park and you can kind of just play around and it becomes a lot more fun and it opens up your mind to a lot of new possibilities so not focusing too much on what you have to do but just trying to focus on the fun aspect and whatever gravitates you towards the fun that it is exists be confusing i do i hope this video helps in some way i know some of these videos are reiterations of things that i've said before but i want this to be a perfectly straightforward course that you can watch all the videos in a row and it'll be extremely helpful from before you skate to becoming a great skateboarder so this is part two and of course we'll cover all the things to come if you want to see more content if you want to see me in this video talk about my my personal inspirations and tricks that i'm working on you can click the join button down below every time i upload a progress daily skateboard academy video i'll also be uploading a second video on the membership channel that's a little more advanced me going into a little more detail maybe about my personal aspirations and inspirations etc so of course if you want to click the join button you can do that you also get your own custom emojis and you get these badges for you know being a member 
member for a while. So it's a pretty cool thing. YouTube is, uh, it's awesome. And if you enjoy the skate content, let me know down below. Thank you so much. Take care, progress daily, and keep killing it.